One sunny afternoon, siblings Mia and Leo were playing in their backyard. Their parents had recently moved to a new house on the edge of town, and the children were thrilled to explore the vast garden. Amidst the tall trees and blooming flowers, they stumbled upon an old, rickety treehouse. Look, Mia, Leo exclaimed, pointing at the treehouse, nestled high in the branches of an ancient oak tree. Let's check it out. Mia, the older and more cautious of the two, hesitated. Do you think it's safe? Leo, always the adventurous one, was already climbing the wooden ladder. Come on, it'll be fun. Mia sighed and followed her brother up the ladder. When they reached the top, they found a small wooden door with intricate carvings. It looked as though it hadn't been opened in years. With a little push, the door creaked open, revealing a cozy room filled with dusty old books, maps, and strange-looking gadgets. Wow, it's like a little museum, Mia said, her eyes wide with wonder. Leo picked up an old book with a golden lock. What do you think this is? Before Mia could answer, a gust of wind blew through the treehouse, rustling the pages of the books and maps. Suddenly, the room began to shimmer and glow. The siblings clung to each other as the treehouse spun faster and faster until everything went black. When the spinning stopped, Mia and Leo cautiously opened their eyes. They found themselves in a dense forest. The treehouse was gone, and they were dressed in medieval clothing. In the distance, they could see a grand castle with high towers and fluttering flags. Where are we? Mia whispered. I think we've traveled back in time, Leo said, excitement bubbling in his voice. As they made their way towards the castle, they encountered a young boy named Arthur, who was about their age. He wore simple clothes, but had a determined look on his face. Who are you? Arthur asked, eyeing their strange attire. I'm Leo, and this is my sister Mia. We're visitors from a faraway land, Leo explained. Arthur's eyes widened. Can you help me? I need to deliver an important message to the king, but the forest is full of dangers. Mia and Leo exchanged glances. This was their chance to learn about bravery firsthand. We'd be happy to help, Mia said with a reassuring smile. Together, the trio navigated the forest, facing challenges that tested their courage and resourcefulness. They encountered wild animals, crossed a rickety bridge, and outsmarted a group of bandits. Through it all, Mia and Leo discovered that bravery wasn't about being fearless. It was about facing fears and overcoming them. When they finally reached the castle, Arthur delivered his message to the king, who thanked them for their bravery. As a reward, the king invited them to a grand feast in the castle's great hall. As the siblings enjoyed the feast, the room began to shimmer once more. The familiar sensation of spinning returned, and before they knew it, Mia and Leo were back in their treehouse, dressed in their modern clothes. That was incredible, Leo said, his eyes sparkling with excitement. Mia nodded, a thoughtful expression on her face. We learned so much. Bravery, history, and the importance of helping others. Just then, they noticed the old book with the golden lock was open, revealing a new map inside. This map pointed to another time and place, promising more adventures to come. Ready for our next journey? Leo asked, grinning. Mia smiled back. Always. <laughs>